Well, you're probably wondering why we're showing you one of the best items from the day, and we didn't really hide it from you. You're going to have to stick to the end to find out why this was an epic fail. Thank you, announcer man. Let's get on to the thrift. The DVD set uh, is Pete and Pete. It is a Nickelodeon out of print set season two. The comps on this are approximately $50 or so. Uh, if you lot it with season one, it's even better. Uh, but as it is right there, it's about 50. Uh, this next set is running away from me. And we find, we see this later on in the video that she's, she does this like six times with this particular set. It is called how the West was won. Um, and then this is another DVD set, the greatest American hero, which I, for the third time, uh, have to check, uh, whether or not the DVDs are in here. Uh, weird numbering, uh, but uh, looked like a decent set. Uh, this is an Arizona uh, Diamondbacks jacket. There it's was like the old school Letterman jacket where you wear that to your to the football game against your hometown rival. Yeah, but there was no uh, interior tag here. Uh, I'm looking for it, but there's no interior tag anywhere. Really cool though. Love the teal. You're all about teal. Everything. I really am. But the distressing on the leather, I do not believe is intentional. And at a $30 price tag, it is really high. So that beauty is staying. Uh, this is Soft Surroundings. This is Alpaca Blend, I believe. And it is also on a blue tag, which is half off today. So I'm all about the half off. Lots of oh, pilling, yeah. but it, Sw it'll be fine. shaving is not a problem. And Soft Surroundings with Alpaca does quite well on eBay. So I am pretty excited to find this. And then um, I apparently find the back very interesting. Uh, there's also Steeple Chaser. Steeple Chase. Steeple Chase. Uh, right. Looks vintage and equestrian people got money. I gotta say. So I do generally take a second Oh, if you can look. afford to buy a horse, you can afford to buy a sweater. <laughs> yeah. Um... I will say uh, there was a little bit of damage to this sleeve, but it wasn't super bad and it probably would have been fine. This is Duluth. Really, really, really pretty blue. It's 2XL. And I am in the men's section, but it is definitely a women's based on how small it is. Um, so I think it'll do well. I don't find a lot in this size, so that goes into the cart. Uh, this is Mickey Unlimited. It is a Disney vintage uh, Mickey plaid shirt. Uh, there's like a velour or something. I can already patch. tell that this is going in the cart. Oh, absolutely. And those buttons are absolutely why they go in the cart. Look, look at that. Like it's like hidden Mickey, but not hidden. It's amazing. And it's also on a half price blue tag. So, of course, uh, I I'm loving me some half price. Um, and. I also just love that it almost looks faded, but not really. It's just everything, like everything about it. I mean, I love it. So this absolutely went in the cart and apparently I really loved it. So Soft Surroundings here is a new to me uh, brand from Soft Surroundings. It's Hugs from Soft Surroundings. Don't know if it's newer or not, but I it mean, is. I mean, it looks like a luscious wrap. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Drapey, wonderful. It uh, looks like a hug from Soft Surroundings. So I don't... It's like a very thick material too. Yeah, so I'll have to do some research onto this, but half price tag. Totally worth picking up. Okay, so the first stop was actually not bad. The biggest, uh, I guess, complaint I have about the first stop is that there was no service. So a lot of the stuff I had to do blind. Um, and as you saw in the intro, um, it worked out, um, but didn't 100% work out. So there is actually a DVD that I picked up that wasn't worth it. Um, it was shown there. Um, I don't have easy access to it currently, um, but basically it was the Wild West one. Um, it I'm going to throw it up on eBay for $15, but paying $5 for that was definitely not worth it. Um, the rest of the stuff does seem to be worth it, so I'm really excited about that. And hopefully uh, starting off the day good, especially when it is a store that's normally pretty shitty for me, um, is a good sign for the rest of the day. So uh, we will move on to the next door. Uh, there's going to be three in total. And at the end, we are going to show everything that I picked up. So if there is something that doesn't make it into the video, I will show that um, quickly. So 
not going to be a long, you know, haul or anything. Just a quick, you know, letting you know what we got. Um, and Tyler will be at the end. So if you are here for both of us, uh, don't worry. He will be in the video. Uh, it'll just be at the end. So let's get on to the next store. So these are a few shoes I rounded up. The first ones here are Merrill. Uh, they're like Chambria or something. I don't know the exact style name, but uh, they're canvas. They're lace up. Can't find much in the way of comps. The only comps I see are not great on Poshmark, but on eBay, they're better. So we'll see on that. These are Asics uh, gel cushion shoes. I loved the color, but at $17.99, like... I mean, they're, tw they're $20. I don't know how you can justify $20 unless they're basically new. Yeah, they're gorgeous, though. And these are also Asics. They're gel Nusa. Um, they're running shoes very clearly. Um, I love the colors again. There's something. I mean, God. But these are $14.99. So... Even though they're really cool colors, I can't justify the cost. Um, some comps were okay, especially for the last ones, but no. This is a French DVD set. I'm not going to attempt it. Do you want to attempt it over here, my announcer nope, man? Nope, nope, not going to do that. Um, can't find great comps, but some do well. So, I mean, I've had good luck with uh, foreign movies. This is Land of the Lost. Uh, there are two different seasons here. Uh, comps together look like they're going to be about 40 bucks for the lot, maybe 30, 30 bucks, 40 30, 40. Bucks, yeah. Somewhere around there. there. And I mean, I mean that that's fine for me. This here. I, I don't even know what that is. It, it's like a person in a black hole. Yeah. I couldn't tell what it was before I put it in the cart here. Um, so I'm looking right now to find out what the title is and it is, uh, down or uh, down the rabbit hole. What the, what the bleep, what the bleep. Didn't have great comps, though. And this is Lois and Clark, which I used to watch with my dad all the time. And I really want it to be worth money because the nostalgia just, oh, my heart. But unfortunately, it's not really worth anything. Just nostalgia. Whoa. These are Smoke Rise jeans. If you don't know what Smoke Rise is, you need to be watching Married Life's channel. I will link her. She is amazing. Uh, she taught me this brand. And look at these. These are amazing. They're they are. quite a big size as well. I think they are a size 44. Um, but they're amazing. They're like graffiti. 44 by 32. That's, yeah. They have like graffiti and paint splatter. And oh my goodness, like men's jeans are usually boring. These are not. These are everything. They absolutely go in the cart. Uh, these are. <sighs> Sad Legents. day. Why would you leave Legents? What's, what's $2? Oh God. Okay. It just gets, it's worse and, and worse. Well. <laughs> I'm glad that you didn't think this was another failure of the day as you watch this back. Uh, well, no, that that's a justifiable leave behind. This I found without looking through this rack. It just I just saw it. Um, is Judy Blue size two XL? It is twelve dollars and okay, but there's distressing. It's a great size and Judy Blue flies off the shelf for me. I have actually sold out of all Judy Blue that I have in my store. So finding Judy Blue was very exciting for me. Um, but yeah, it, it flies off the shelf. So absolutely pick that up. And these are Miss Me jeans. If you missed our live thrift last week, uh, we actually found Miss Me jeans. And a lot of you guys suggested only getting the boot cut, which these are. They're the boot cut and they are bedazzled on the bum. So um, I thought it was absolutely worth picking them up. And there's really no like wear on the hem, I, so yeah, I think the last on live thrift are the mismes we found were very plain, and they were straight leg. Ah. Oh, and nostalgia! This is Berenstein Bear, and guys, stay till the end. This Berenstein Bear comes back with a vengeance and makes goes through the ringer a little bit. Yeah, so definitely stay for that. Um, he comes home with me, um, and he's probably sad about that. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but nostalgia and this little guy, um, I'm actually going to pop a really funny thing on the screen. I asked you guys on Instagram who he was and you let me know he's from the lion guard, uh, Bunga, I think his name is, but so some of you, like uh, the lion King or like an offshoot of that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but some of you had some funny things to say, so you guys will see that on the screen here, but, um, you guys made me laugh. Uh, I didn't know who he was. I always check out Disney characters and this one sadly was not worth a lot, but he's interesting. Uh, I didn't get anything I'm super excited about, but I am happy that I got some DVDs. Um, not a lot, of course, as you saw. 
Um, but as I've said before, um, I am trying to up that number. So getting any is good. Uh, so at that store, I spent about $55 and I got about 10 items. So that's averaging me about $5.50 per item, which at this store is actually pretty good. So I'm happy with that. I just wish that there was a little bit more high ticket items. Most of this is bread and butter and a lot of it I did pay up for. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to show in the clips, uh, but I did get a pair of Judy blue jeans uh, that I paid about $13 for, I believe. I did have a 20% discount, um, but still that's a lot for Judy blue. Um, I only did it because of the size. They were a 2XL. Um, I don't find that very often, so I was willing to try it. Um, but yeah, so we are on to the next store. Uh, I never have luck at this store. So I'm hoping that because I have you guys with me, uh, that will be different. So send those good vibes my way. And this is Marmot. I have never picked up Marmot. So uh, pray for me. I have no idea if I failed on this. I had no service and no uh, internet, but it's nice colors. So it, it does need some cleaning, um, but we'll see on this. I've never picked up Marmot before and I really don't know if it's worth anything. Um, but at the price, it felt like it was worth it. I believe it was $5 and 78 cents. So worst case, I lost $5. And then this is vintage LL Bean for, wait for it, a dollar. It's red plaid. It's everything. Um, if it's it doesn't incredible. sell now, it will definitely sell at Christmas it's season. Incredible. So it's like a mock neck. Okay, so the final stop was kind of a letdown. I only ended up with four items, and I don't know if I, um, I'm i happy with them. Again, there was no service in the store, so this was, again, a blind thrift. So basically, the whole trip was a blind thrift, uh, except for one store. Um, and we don't go to these stores as often as others, so I don't do the blind part often. Um, but I did get a swimsuit, which I'm kind of excited about, and I don't think that um, I was able to show it on camera. So this is it here. I'm trying to show it further back. It is Bondi Australia, which I believe is a Revolve brand. Um, this is the first year I'm really kind of looking at uh, swimwear. I really haven't done that in the past, but... Um, I know that it does really well for people and there it's a really small section in the thrift, so it's super simple to go through. Um, I did want to film more in there. There's actually a clown sweatshirt that I really wanted to show you guys because I know some of my live thrift friends would be terrified. I'm going to try to pop on a screen a picture of what it looked like or at least of the clowns that was on it um, because this is the the kind of start of my fear of clowns. Uh, this clown sweatshirt that I saw, it was from Killer Clowns of Outer Space. Okay, so I'm back home now and Tyler is with me. He's holding the camera, so that's why it's steadier. Uh, and Luna's here. Uh, and this is everything we have gotten, or I got, I guess. Uh, there is a few things on this table we didn't show you. And I think there's a few things Tyler wanted to talk about. Uh, yes, I'm just trying to pan over everything. Uh, so there's a lot of things. Uh, so you've already seen this, but Luna, dastardly little girl that she is, May have thought it was for her and has kind of chewed on poor Mr. Berenstein Bear. And I mean, I wouldn't be that mad because I don't think it has that much value. This has nostalgia, but I mean, we shouldn't be tearing apart the 90s, should we? No, they've <laughs> suffered enough. Uh, so these did not make it in. These are Lucky Brand men's jean. Uh, Shay is trying the manifesto and seeing how that goes for her. A uh, lot of jeans, which you've already seen. Uh, let's see here. There's also that uh, Summer's Out sweatshirt. There's black one. It's not really going to show up well on camera oh, here. Yes. Um, but this didn't make it into the haul. Uh, it is a band t-shirt or sweatshirt. I don't know much about it. I did see that on the uh, sleeve there was um, there concert dates or countries or states or whatever it was and so i knew it was banned i don't know much about it i only could find depop comps but i'm gonna just hope it's right you know that's what we're gonna do and that one. the other thing that didn't make it in was this Bowden. Bowden. so we love Bowden over here we're Bowden fans i'm gonna throw it over here it's just super super adorable half price super adorable couldn't help it i love it we'll see how it does um, but yeah, so what do you think of the haul? I'm happy, and Luna's already back to chewing on Mr. Berenstein. Yeah, so 
This Luna. might be a Luna toy. We 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 make Luna. a Luna a Luna toy. Luna, that's not you. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Um. Okay. So, what do you think? Uh, I'm kind of impressed that you got so much stuff. So before we get into why this is uh, a fail, uh, we have a package that arrived today uh, from one of you guys, and you asked us to open it on camera, so we are going to do that. Uh, sorry if you can hear Luna in the background. It is kind of late. Uh, so Tyler is going to open this for us. All right. It's an Amazon package. That's all I got. Ooh, pretty. Your gift a surprise. That's pretty. Is there a little card? Um, I just said uh, every queen needs a crown. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. What does that mean? I mean, agree, agree, a hundred percent agree. But she she got you a crown. Oh my and god! I... Oh, look at the color though. This matches my engagement ring. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Hang on. I think I might need a, a little a helping hand here. So this is adorable. So some of my friends on Instagram call me the Brahmin queen. And I go. feel like this, um, I can, you know, be like, look, see, like I'm officially. I think you have queen. to like add that to your profile picture now. I think. Oh yeah. Do you think, I, think it's you do? A, I think it's a requirement. If a fan sends you something, you have to wear it. So a fan? friend first of all second of all should i do like a photo shoot for the for the crown i don't know i think so uh but thank you very much again i won't use names of any of you guys if you send us stuff unless you want us to if you do we can give you shout outs as well um but we really really appreciate this and uh, i'm going to be wearing it it's real metal too so well done uh let's get to your Fail. Failure. Can I keep my crown even with a failure? You let us know um, at the end of this video. Uh, we said at the beginning of the video we were going to close out the video with our, ma well, my major fail. Um, <laughs> so looking everything over again, you kind of got a lot more than I expected. Uh, some of it needs cleaning, but I think you did very well. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. Um, but with all thrift trips, especially when I am alone. Oh, God, she's the worst at this. Yeah, this is something that I would recommend everybody uh, make sure they pay attention to. However, we do have a little pact with our ourselves. So this is my toxic trait. This is my one reselling flaw that I, I know I have, can't seem to fix it. And we've agreed that since since we I've tried to fix it so many times and failed, oh, it's that it's better for me to purchase knowing this issue could be a problem and bring it home anyway than it is to not purchase at all. That we've agreed on this as a couple, so we're not as angry as we normally would be. However, do you want to explain what happened? So, Pete and Pete, uh, if you can actually find it, pick it up. It's a bolo. Uh, problem being that my, my lovely wife has a tendency to not make sure that the discs are there and if they're the right discs. So, you got the BBC The Office disc two. Oh, well. Uh, and nothing. Yeah. In my defense, uh, the one that is the sleeper, this one here, I double checked this three times. Oh, uh, we um, caught her doing it on camera. Yeah. Recording this. And then she also did it like seven times in the park. Yeah. So this, this is actually numbered funny. And, um, so it says like a season one, disc one, disc two, disc three, but then when it moves into season three, it stays with the same number pattern. So it'll say like season two, disc four. But it's disc four of the complete set, not yeah, disc four of disc two. This is the, the worst design for a box set ever. Yeah, so I kept going back and going, wait, am I missing? So I checked it multiple times, but Pete and Pete, I had heard from Resale Dojo, shout out to him, knew it was a bolo, and I just moved on with my life. It didn't, Yeah. I, I don't know. So if you're wondering what the major fail was, that was a major fail. Thankfully, it was only a $4 major fail. If, if I think there's... Safe to say that in the reselling community, there are two types of people. People that don't always check the case and dirty liars. Because <laughs> I guarantee you this has happened to every single person at least once. Yeah, so help me not feel so bad. Let me know in the comments it, it below. Has this to. Has please, happened right? to you like it has to have At least happened. once, please, at least once. If that hasn't happened to you, I know you've missed a flaw. 
tell me about that story too, because I, I need to feel better, right? I mean, I spent a whole day doing this and the biggest item that I was so excited about is a fail? Come on. Come Crush, on. crushing fail. So crushing. But anyways, that is everything we have. I hope that you enjoy this type of video. If you like this style and you don't mind that I'm alone for a lot of it, let me know in the comments because uh, we're happy to do them. Uh, we've steered away from it before only because obviously Tyler can't be with me because he is at his nine to five most days. Um, but I don't mind doing it if you guys like it. So let us know in the comments below and we will be back really soon with, I think, a numbers video. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you guys.